Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose and today I have part two of my 2021 daycare haul. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a child care provider for up to five children and on my channel you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to child care, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. Most of the items from this haul is from a company based out of Toronto, Canada called Thingamajigs and I have ordered from them in the past and I find them to be very fair prices and the quality is great and I've had very good experiences so far. So without further ado, let's get started. First product I got was this circle puzzle. I love that it's the same color and the same shape, but it's three different sizes. So it helps the children with their critical thinking skills. The quality is great and this puzzle was $9.95. I also got this coin box and you can see that it has a slot in the top for the children to put the coins inside. So this is great fine motor. And then the children will just open the drawer to get the coins back out. And this little coin box was $14.95. The next few items are a series of puzzles and all the puzzles are $9.95. First one I got was a flower, a butterfly, a ladybug, a fish and a penguin. I already have a bird puzzle from this company as well as a tree puzzle. I love the puzzles, the quality is great and so I thought I would grab a couple more. I love to teach colors to the children and color theory and I thought this was going to be a really great addition to our classroom. This is the color tablet box number one. And in this one, it just has the primary colors. And so for this box, the children are just gonna match the colors together. So the two blues, the two reds, and the two yellows. And then I also got the color tablet box number two. In this box, it has all the different colors. And again, they're just gonna match up the two colors together. I also grabbed the color box number three which is shades of color. So for this box, the children will practice the shades of color. So they'll be able to go from lightest to darkest or from darkest to lightest. This is definitely the most challenging puzzle. I'm very drawn to Montessori principles. So I thought this was a great hands-on way to teach children about color. And the last item I got from Thinkamajigs is this Melissa and Doug hammer toy. And I've had lots of different hammer toys in the past, but over time I find the little pegs get too loose and they just slip through the holes. But we all know children love to hammer things. And so this one looked interesting to me. So when the children hammer one side, the other side goes up. This is great for hand-eye coordination. For younger students, you can ask them to hammer down the red one or the orange one. You could also give the children colored cards or color words, and then you can have the children identify what is on the card and then match it and hammer down the matching color. So those are all the things that I picked out from Thinkamajigs. So again, this company is called Thinkamajigs and it's a great company based out of Toronto, Canada and it has a wide variety of Montessori games and toys. The last few things I got were from Mastermind Toys and Amazon and so I picked up this measuring worm activity. This one's made by Learning Resources. So this activity has different colors and different sized worms so children can practice sorting and measuring with this little set. And the rest of them are more of those Schleck animals that I started to show you in my last video. If you haven't seen my part one of my daycare haul, you should go check that one out. But I decided this year to start to invest in some better quality Schleck animals. And I did purchase some in my last video, but I found a few more. I got an alligator, a koala bear, a panda bear. I, I always found zebras to be a really interesting animal and I think children do too. So I chose a zebra, an orangutan, a 
chicken, a pig. In my last haul, I got a pig, but I didn't realize that it was a piglet. So I went ahead and ordered the adult pig. So you can see that there's so much detail on these animals. I find them so realistic. So I'm super excited for the children to have these new animals in our classroom. And then I got a goat. This one's really dark. I'm not sure if you can see it well, but I love that it has a cute little beard on it. Llamas are super popular right now, so I grabbed a llama. I thought it was super cool that the ears are stuck right up on top of their heads. I got a walrus, a killer whale, and the last item for this haul is this blue whale. He's quite large and, and I just think these animals are amazing. So I think it was definitely worth the investment. Animals are not cheap. I want to say this one was probably around $20. Some of these smaller ones are like $4.99 and some of the medium ones are like $6.99. Some of these ones might be like $10. So they're all kind of priced a little bit differently, but they're not cheap. But I feel like once you buy them, they're going to be for life. I hope you enjoyed part two of my 2021 daycare haul. Believe it or not, I still have room in my budget for a few more items, so stay tuned for haul number three. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.